evidence, assertion, and conclusion is our slogan. Genieware Pattern Simulation, that's what GPS stands for. You can go to my website, treebar.com, and there's a big old explanation of why GPS no longer means Genieware Program Source First. Now you can change the current person. You can type their ID if you happen to know it. You can change this main picture to anything you want. And there you go. See, it changed the main picture. And if you don't know the ID, you can use the name. This person, Ronnie Webb. You've got two husbands. One of them has children with her. This is a events table. You can make a new event down here. Say there's two people named John Smith. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's three. Okay, so you got to choose which one. We want number 5927, this guy. So we're going to choose him. Go, okay. Now John Smith fills in. You go, okay. And look, that's 5927. Okay, let's change to a different John Smith. There you go. Number 5924, John Smith this time. There's two very unique Ricks. Rick Rob Roseman is what I mean to say. Okay, we changed the Rick Rob Roseman number 5589. <clears throat> and there he is, 5589. Now, let's go Rick Rob Roseman 5588 instead. There you go. My goodness, look at all that. He's got all kinds of weddings and wives and stuff. Okay, he has four different partners or wives or spouses or whatever you want to call them. And free bar, you can make your partner, a spouse, a wife, you call them anything you want. You don't have to have this wife-husband thing going on. And that's good because I think free bar is really unique in this feature because all the other programs make you say, or they don't make you say, they say it for you wife and husband and spouse when uh, I didn't tell the program to say that. So we have different ways of finding out whether someone belongs in this family table. Uh, first of all, everybody has two parents, a father and a mother. But down here, we got a lot of flexibility. So if someone has children with Rick Rob Roseman, then they're going to be here, whether they have a, a marital event with him or not. And then if somebody has a marital event with him, they're going to be in here whether they have children with him or not. So he's going to end up with these four uh, partners. And I told Trebard to call this one a spouse. I told Trebard to call these partners. I made that decision. The user of the, of the software made that decision. Trebard does not call somebody a spouse or a wife or a husband unless you want tree bar to call them that. But now let's look at someone who has children. Number 12 happens to be James Woodland. Oh my goodness, look, this guy's been around the bend. He's had foster parents. He's got two sets of foster parents and adoptive parents. And this is another unique feature of tree bar. Usually this sort of thing is left as an afterthought. Now, what if he never met his father? What if he doesn't even know who his parents are? They still belong here, obviously, right here at the top. But the people who raised him are possibly more important to James than the people who created him biologically. So we give them equal uh, status here uh, in Tree Bar's family table. All the people that you want here, you can put them here. All you have to do is go down the events table to the new event or attribute input and create a fosterage event or a adoption event or a guardianship event. And then you'll get, like this, you get these, these different parents. Okay, so what's next? We got children here, we got children here. Oh, now there's that scroll bar I told you about in the last movie. See? You can use a scroll bar. That appears magically. Here we don't know the mother's name, so we'll give her underscores. Please do not say unknown name. Don't, don't use letters, ABC letters, for a name if you don't know a name. 
use symbols like question marks or underscores or empty parentheses or something like that. Because otherwise, somebody who speaks Swahili might think unknown name is somebody's actual name. You don't want that to happen. Okay, now Alberta Reese is their child. Uh, here we have a place for birth gender, which you can change right here. Birth date, death date, you can change all this stuff right here for children. Normally, this is tree bar is built around the current person model. That means normally you don't change much here except for the current person from his point of view. But, well, okay, his parents, his children, uh, his partner, that, that, that's all important to him. So you can change these things right here in James's family table. You can change all this stuff in James's family table. Uh, there's so much I have to show you. This is just getting really exciting. Oh, look at this. This is a, a search screen. Now we're going to search for everything with a Z in it. See this guy? He's got a Z in his name. Uh, well, let's go Z-E. All oh, that filters it way down. See, now we've only got four people in the table. But here you can sort by name, you can sort by ID, and sort by all this stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye.